There we go. Yeah. Hello there, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. Russell Joestar here bringing you a main tutorial video. And yes, that was a flawless victory on Shao Kahn with Reptile. No, I did not use cheats. No, I probably will never be able to do that if I do my playthrough of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. But anyways, this is going to be a basic video on how to install, not obtain, just install ROMs and CHIDs. I'm giving you a little basic in and out of those things and how to get them running on your main game so you can relive good old arcade classics. So... Um, and the reason why I'm not going into details about how to obtain ROMs is because, well, you know, legal reasons. All I can say is just look it up or talk with other meme enthusiasts about how to obtain these. Um, there are some places where you can get them um, re-released by companies, actually. Uh, I believe SNK put out, or whoever owns them now, put out uh, re-releases of their uh, Neo Geo games. Uh, some of them on Steam and on the Humble Store, and it's like a bare bones emulator. Like you literally can just go in the ROMs folder and <laughs> get the get the files and put them into Mame. Because the emulators themselves aren't illegal. It's just whether or not you have the rights or the license to use the uh, files for the games. That's the whole shindig about it. Anyways, so uh, we got a few ROMs in here, and we'll be going over. Um, again, we'll be going over basic ROMs, uh, games that might need a BIOS, and shits. So let's start with these. So we got your basic ROMs right here, read-only memory, I believe is what it stands for. Or, yeah. Um, and ROM is basically all the information needed to play the game and get it running properly. So, we've got our ROM right here, this is Afterburner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down CTRL on your keyboard and push X, and I forget I think it's command plus X for you Mac users, but you can always use whatever respective context window you have and use a good old, good old fashioned cut key. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into MAME and we're going to go to ROMs. And also if you're wondering about setting up MAME, it's fairly easy to do. Most versions you just unzip, boom, you're good to go, and all the files you need will come out. Um, some versions like MAME UI FX64, you're going to need to install uh, to a, it'll, it'll use an installer. So if you want it to be in the same folder as your other MAME emulators, you'll have to point to your installer that the way. So let's go to ROMs here, I'm getting back on track. Ooh, look at all these things that I may or may not get around to doing videos on. So now that we're here, we're going to hold down CTRL and push V. And of course, context menu works as well. And there we go. So now, as you can see, I already have Afterburner right here. Uh, I didn't want to actually take it out of the uh, games list because it would take forever for this thing to refresh. So uh, what you can do to test the game without having to refresh because it can take a while, like I just said, I'm a little redundant sometimes. You can go to all games and type in the game name. So let's go after burner, burner, there we go. Double click on that and okay, um, let's go ahead and, oh, there we go. So we're good to go. There's the game. Afterburner. I gotta really practice this because this is a pretty fun one. So let's go ahead and whack the escape key and get out of here. Um, we're gonna clear that out too and go back to our, well, let's, let's keep it on the all games list. So next we are gonna go over how to do games that might need a BIOS. Because uh, different games use different systems sometimes, and sometimes they're going to need a separate a separate thing or a separate ROM to get that running, like with Neo Geo's. Um, so for Neo Geo type games, and uh, I don't have a, on hand all the games that need a separate BIOS, because there's a lot of them out there. And um, if the game does need a BIOS, first of all, you'll know, because even if you get the ROM, uh, Meme will complain that it's missing something it needs. Like if I put Metal Slug in there and try to run the game, um, Meme's going to complain that it can't find Neo Geo ROM. So what we're going to do is copy both of these guys, or cut, cut both of them, and we're going to dump them in our ROMs folder. So coming back in the Meme, ROMs, dump. And then we are going to go back here and look up Metal Slug. Here we are, Super Vehicle 001. And now we let the thing tweak out like it's having a bit of a fit. And... I love that. I love that. I love that jingle. So, we got that going. Alright, so now finally, last on our hit list, we have... Chits. Now, chits, or I heard somebody call it compressed chunks of data, but um, 
or compressed hunks of data, but chids are basically representative of hard drives or CDs or whatever that um, a lot of games, um, like a lot of games, not a lot of games, but there are a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of games that need them to run. Okay, if I can get my facts straight here. Um, and so to run a game that needs a chid, you're going to need the ROM and you're going to need the chid as well, such as with Carnival here. And so uh, these can cause a bit of confusion, but um, basically all you're going to do is you're going to get the game, and the game ROM itself is going to stay zipped. Now the chid itself will have to be extracted if it if it's delivered to you or dumped to you in a uh, zip folder or RAR or whatever. And what you're going to do is make sure that the name of the folder and the chid matches the game name. That includes if there's any versions or if it's called something different. Because like Area 51, for instance, is A51, I think. And then, and, you know, there's other versions of Carnival, so the ROM and the chid folder and the chid name are going to have to match up. Otherwise, because MAME's going to look for that specific file. So if you have Carnival version whatever, but you have the original version of Carnival, it's not going to work. You need the chid that lines up with the version. That's a little confusing, but yeah. So we got Carnival here. We got... I don't want to rename it. And we got the chid in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take both of those and dump them in the ROMs folder. Yes, chids just go right into the ROMs folder. Just make sure, again, it's in a folder, not a zip folder. And the folder name has to match the name of the ROM. So we're gonna go back to MAME, or we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to the thing, if I can find it. I always do this, every time. There we go. Oh, I was wrong, it is just Area 51, derp. <laughs> it's been a while. But like, see how we got Area 51 MX, that would mean that if I want to get the chit for that, it'll have to be named Area 51 MX. It can't be a different name or else it's going to cause me to just have a hissy fit. So let's go ahead and test that. Make sure I didn't screw it up. Yeah, see, there's Carnival 1. So when you get the chit for that, the name of the chit and the folder will have to be Carnival 1 to match with that zip file. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. So let's go ahead and Load that up and yep, here we go. Got the boot up screen and and there we go. Moons full and trees are bare. Walk through the cemetery if you dare. Where skeletons rock and corpses festival. Okay, I might have had the uh, <laughs> throttle on there. It sounded like it was trying to wrap that, but that's that's a. Uh, pretty much it for installing games in the MAME. It's 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 a little difficult at times, and then you, you also have to deal with like things at times, like games not popping up properly, and that can be a video in of itself, because I'm still trying to get a, um, I'm still trying to get a, a good answer, oh, excuse me, I'm still trying to get a good answer on that as far as how to fix that and get that going, but when I get answers, I'll post them to you, because I know lots of people out there are going to be wondering how the heck that works, so... Um, that's pretty much it. I will be doing future tutorial videos on other things as well. So, uh, thanks for listening to my yammering. I hope you found this video useful if there are answers you're looking for. And I'll see you all on the next game. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>